And joining us for more on this, George Washington University law professor and Fox News contributor Jonathan Turley. I want to show everybody who all the different family members in the in, in the Bidens that received money. Okay, so here you have it, just on the screen for you. Here you have Hunter's ex-wife. You have Bo Biden's widow. You have Hunter's current wife, and then the brother of the Bidens as well. So, with this information that the divorce lawyers knew about the payment, does that add anything to this story in your mind? Well, it adds a great deal. I mean, the only people not on that list are is, are groups like the pets. A major is not mentioned, but otherwise, every generation seemed to get a dividend. And what this looks like is a family business. It looks like a family business that is dividing up the proceeds. The difference is that this family business had dozens of LLCs and accounts that seemed designed to hide these payments. Uh, there's no cognizable reason why you would create this labyrinth of LLCs and accounts unless you were trying to hide the trail. The other problem is that it's not clear what the family business is other than politics. And many of us have said for years that the Biden family is notorious for influence peddling. And this seems to confirm our worst expectations. Um, in the meantime, you've got this other story that's going on right now, and that is what, what happened with this letter that was signed by 51 intel agents uh, saying that the laptop was bogus. It came from Moscow as Russian disinformation. John Brennan apparently had a long interview yesterday, and Jim Jordan explained that last night on Jesse. 7 o'clock. Watch. He set for a four-hour interview, Jesse, and he further confirmed that this thing was all political. We expect public servants not to use their title to influence an election, and it was so political when it was all done. So I, my guess is here we need to see a transcript to find out exactly what the question was and how he answered that. Yeah, but the thing that people need to remember is that when this letter was issued just before the election, uh, many of us have all had already flagged an interesting aspect of this laptop, which is that it was self-authenticating. There were other people who were recipients or senders of these emails. Um, not only that, American intelligence said fairly quickly they had no evidence of Russian intelligence involvement. And yet this letter was issued, and we now know from one, the person who organized it, that he says that the trigger was now Secretary of State Lincoln, who was working for the campaign. So the, we're beginning to see a lot of these pieces uh, fitting now as to how this letter came about, and it's not a pretty picture. Jonathan, I wanted to ask you something, because I learned that 21 people that these letter instigators reached out to declined to sign it. And yet the letter basically says, you know, here's the, uh, based on the collective judgment of these 51, this is Russian disinformation, without at the same time saying, and yet 21 said they declined to sign because for whatever reasons. So they never said that. And this was actually being done at Langley? <laughs> Yeah, and that was one of the more interesting aspects in the last two days of news coming out. There's a reference to a CIA employee who may have played a role as a facilitator of the letter. That's very troubling because it indicates that somebody who is being paid by the American people may have played a role in giving what was called a talking point to then candidate Joe Biden. Uh, and when Biden used this letter, he never mentioned that his campaign had pushed this letter or was involved. Another recent allegation is that the campaign helped determine who in the media would first get the letter. So these are all levels wow. of involvement that we really weren't aware of earlier. Mm. Well, it seems that there is a striking lack of curiosity on behalf of yeah. most people in the media, yeah. as we saw. I might have to apologize for, to Jason Chaffetz for making fun of his title of his book, which was Deep State. Uh -huh. um, it might be alive oh, yeah. and well. She's coming, I might call she's coming the around. congressman today. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Professor. Have a great Thank weekend. You. Jonathan Turley. Thank, Thank you, you very much. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.